what's going on guys? Darkman here. Back in another video. Today I am going to be comparing the Razer MX350 dirt bike and the Razer E300. So first off the bat you obviously this is a scooter and this is a dirt bike. So first thing here I'm gonna show is the tire size. The tire size is as you can notice very different. Um so you get some bigger tires because it is a dirt bike with two smaller tires. So I've had these both for about two to three years now. They both do great. Um, of course, the uh, riding time has shortened over the years. Um, as you can see, it's a little, they are obviously older because they have some scratches. Um, but other than that, uh, this is the riding time, so be for this one you get maybe like five to ten minutes. This one you go more towards fifteen to twenty minutes. Um, this one gets up to fifteen miles per hour. There's a recommended age thirteen and up. This one's also thirteen and up. I'd say maybe anywhere from six to ten for this, and maybe thirteen and up for this one. So that one's fifteen twenty minutes, five to ten minutes miles, maybe a half mile for that, maybe a mile for that. Um, the battery, each of them gets two 12 volt batteries. They last about a year. Um, so, in order to take the body off, you have a screw right here. There's a fake gas cap. There's a screw right here, down here. And also, there's screws under the bike. To take the body off, and then obviously disassemble it. There's going to be some more. So I'm sure it's just back in. Then for this, to take the body off. You have a lot more screws to deal with. You have a ton. You have uh, one, two, three, eight there. Then obviously you have the three on the side. Maybe four. I can't really tell. And then on the side, you have another one. So, this one is going to be harder to obviously take apart, and it's a lot bigger. This one, it's a dirt bike, and it's a little bit easier to take off. <laughs> and, sorry, we almost dropped the phone. Um, and then, obviously, so you get a number on this one, you get a number five. Obviously, I got this one in blue, and this one in gray. So I actually bought both of these uh, used. This one actually I got for free, and then this one off. Uh, you bought for hundred bucks, so it's not too bad of pricing. You can pick one of these up for about two hundred sixty bucks, brand new. This one, I'm not really too sure. I'm gonna say probably around two hundred fifty, about same price. Uh, for size wise, they're about the same. This one has to be more riding height, as you can tell. Perfect. And this one. So that is kind of the basics for motors. Uh, you know, I'm pretty good on motor wise. They're pretty good motors. They last quite a while. Haven't had a problem with the motors. Batteries are the biggest issues with things. Things they don't last very long. But for now, you get about a speed of about 15 on this and about 14 on this. After years of it riding more, you go down to about 12 miles per hour and about still. This one doesn't really, you know, appreciate. I have no tires, as you can tell. I've done a lot of skin marks. They are smooth as baby's bottom. And for uh, this is gonna be the underside. So, not much. I was saying, see the motor. The biggest problem with this dirt bike, even though you have some ride height right here, if you hit a bump, it's gonna scrape that motor. You can see I've got quite a bit of scrapes. This not as bad of a problem, still some scrapes. Um, yeah, this I obviously has a sticking, which could easily pop the tire, so we gotta fix that. Oh, uh, this wires are good. Anything to worry about. And for now, we are gonna go on to the driving. 